Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't been been with you guys in, in a while, um, but I have been posting um, testimonial videos um, for you. I'm actually in the um, I'm actually in our Maryland location, and I'm over here getting ready to teach teach some folks. And for those of you who haven't been to our Maryland location, just wanted to to point out um, what it kind of looks like in one of our classes. And this is another one of our classes. Or whatnot. <clears throat> this is for the advanced class. We have some other classes, but but anyway, I just wanted to, um, to share with you guys some good news um, from some of our students that are that are currently um, that are currently um, <clears throat> in the job market. Uh, I'm really, really, really happy to announce that um, a lot of students are, are are really getting out there interviewing. I just had um, one of our students um, just um, get blasted. Um, he, um, he, he, he did his first interview and, um, and he said he was really nervous or whatnot. So, um, I just wanted to uh, make a video as to some of the questions that they're going to ask you on the interview. If you're, if you're brand new to being, um, to becoming a, a, an Oracle DBA and, um, basically what most, um, interviews, um, start off with is, is tell us a little bit more about yourself, right? That's typically what all interviews start with. So you want to have a good story as, as to that. And basically what they're asking you for with with that question is, is um, tell us a little bit more about your job history, what you've done in the past. So this is a time where you get to to waste some time. Because remember, every every interview that you that you go for, whether it's um, in person or or Skype, it's typically about 20 to 30 minutes. So with that, you can waste about five minutes just talking about BS, you know, just um, just stuff that you've done, and you know, you can really elaborate on 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 everything, right? Then the next thing that they're going to ask you is, the, uh, then they're going to focus on your resume, and some of the major topics that they typically ask on a, on an interview is, um, they want to they want to know what kind of tools that you've used um, as a DBA. Um, some of the things that you want to you want to say it would be um, would basically be um, you know, you want to use you know um, tools like you know R Man, SQL Plus, SQL Developer, um, EOM, sorry, OEM, um, stuff like that. Um, other things that I would I would I would say. You know, um, that's just if you're an Oracle, if you're in the if you're in the um, AWS world. By the way, I'm I'm going to be teaching AWS pretty soon, so um, stay tuned. Um, if you're in the AWS world, then um, you want to mention. You know, I am, you know, RDS and Lambda, you know, stuff like that, right? So, and then you want to kind of expound on that, you know, um, if it's SQL Developer that you want to you want to hone in on, and or OEM, you know, obviously SQL Developer is just another way of, of processing SQL queries, and OEM is just not only well, you're not really processing SQL queries, but you can use OEM to generate a lot of um, um, SQL queries, so where you can copy that and paste that into your CLI. Right. Um, yeah, OEM. You can use that to create um, logical structures and stuff like that. Um, you can use um, to to automate backups and all that good stuff. So, these are kind of the things that you want to kind of um, talk about. Okay. And obviously, um, um, as far as a backup concerned, um, they will hone in on backups on during your interviews. Your interviews would go something like, um, um, "Can you tell us a little bit more about your backup strategy?" That's another good question that they're going to ask you. Um, yeah, if they ask you that, you definitely want to to focus in on your R man and your uh, and your data pump tools. And um, the way I would answer that question is, is pretty straightforward. I would just say, uh, well, I've actually never done a physical backup, but if we if I did have to do a physical backup, I'd use R man. And the reason why I've never done a physical backup is because we use cron jobs to actually automate our backups. That is a physical backup. See what I'm saying? And as far as um, the logical backups, then I would just um, always just tell them that you, I, lo I use um, um, data pump, right? And I always like to have a full, um, a full database um, um, logical backup every Sunday. And um, as customers um, request um, um, either a table to be refreshed, a schema to be refreshed, then I can do a fresh um, export and import into um, whether it's a standby database or whatever it is, right? So that's another thing, right? Okay, so that's kind of what they'll ask. Another big question that they're going to ask you is performance tuning. They love to ask you questions on performance tuning. And, um, yeah, for performance tuning, um, 
you know, when I first started out, all I knew how to answer that question was was just indexing. You know, um, you know, making sure that tables had indexes on the um, um, on specific tables, or you know, you know. On, on making sure that um yeah I'll just answer that's basically how to answer the question but that's that's kind of not not enough when they, when you're talking about um um performance tuning what you really what they really want to hear really is they want to hear explain plan you got to talk about that explain plan big time you know so um you know there's so a typical question would be okay if a, if a user is complaining that a um that a database is, is slow how would you go about tuning that um how would you go about tuning the tuning the um, um, the statement? Well, the first thing is you want to pull up an explain plan for that and analyze the explain plan. This is is really as simple as that. And then what you also want to do is tell them that um, you'd probably use SQL Developer to to pull up the explain plan because with SQL Developer it it's 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 a little bit more graphical and it's easier to read. You see what I'm saying? Um, Auto Trace is another one. Um, TK Prof is another one. So these are kind of the things that you want to kind of um, um, go into and and, um, and talk about, right? That's a big one when it comes to to your um, to to your um, to your interviews. Right? They're going to ask you that um, big time. Now, um, if you do put that you have Rack and Data Guard experience, you you best be sure that they're going to ask you questions like, okay, what are the three um, um, yeah, off the top of my head, I, I'm losing track. Um, but anyway, you guys know for the, for those of you guys who've done data guard, there's max availability, max protection, and max performance, right? I can't remember the um, the question that they're gonna ask you, but uh, but anyway, I'm, it's been a long day, guys. But anyway, they're gonna also gonna ask you about um, how do you set up a rack cluster, and um, and um, they're gonna ask you um. um they're going to ask you a lot of server control commands as how do you start up how do you start up um a rack database how do you shut down a rack database how do you put a rack database in archive log they're going to ask you that um as going back to data guard they're going to ask you how do you put your um your primary database into a standby mode and, and so on and so forth what tool do you use right definitely you want to be talking you want to be screaming um data um data broker big time when it comes to that so these are some of the questions that you want to be you want to be asking. Um, but then another thing, this is how they really get you is um, this is how they know that you know what's up. So you want to definitely be talking about um, um, change control, change management. You know um, that's a big one. That's a really big one. So they might ask you a question like, so what's your um, change? Um, how do you guys? Um, what's your change management policy? Right. What they're really asking you is. Um, like before you do anything critical to the database, like what are the forms of control in that? Like, do you just do it um, by yourself do you, as a DBA, or um, are, are certain processes um, adhere to, <coughs> or um, like who sign? Basically, what they're asking you is who signs off on these things, on these changes to the database, right? That's a big one. So that's another thing that you want to, um, you, you kind of want to think about um, and answer um, um, the right way. And also, you also want to, um, um, they're going to ask you, okay, so um, you, you also want to talk about, you know, every day you coming in, what are the things that you do every day, what are the things that you check on every day. And the answer to that is basically, you know, um, <clears throat> I come in every day, make sure that databases are up and running, all of it. If it's a cluster database or a single instance database, you want to make sure it's up and running. You want to check your email to make sure that you don't have any outstanding tickets as far as, and that's the most important, uh, make sure you don't have outstanding tickets. Um, in your email uh, um, from the previous day or um, that 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 actual day, and make sure that those emails aren't aren't mission critical. Um, that's another thing that you want to do. Um, then you also want to um, talk about um, you want to make sure that the backups ran successfully. Um, you want to make sure that the this is another big one. You also want to make sure that the audit log location, the audit trail location, like if you if you store all your audit records on the OS, you want to make sure that that stuff is not clogged up because it will hang your system, right? So every other day or every day, because that thing builds up really fast, you kind of want to talk to your sysadmin to delete your um, your audit trail location because if the database cannot audit and cannot write to your audit trail location. You ain't logging into the database because I don't know if you guys remember, but those of you who are DBAs and those of you who have taken the class, um, every, there are just some actions that are just 
automatically just um just audited just automatically like alter system alter database these are just um these are just automatically just audited something like drop user create user these are audited so you know whether you like it or not um audits are writing so and if there's not enough space on your server guess what you ain't going to be able to um to log in so if you can't log in you, you can you can bet your bottom dollar that the users will not be able to log in either big deal okay so yeah um and then um to wrap it up um another thing that you want to you want to hone in on is you want to have prepared questions for um smart questions that you want to ask your um ask the um the users um the users being um um the, sorry not the users the um the interviewers like what's the company all about and when's the next um um do you guys are you guys on a um um are you guys on a rotating schedule as far as on call um how many how big is the size of the team and um what version of database are they using so and so forth so that's kind of it um as far as um the questions that you should ask um um and how you should wrap it up and um yeah just be pleasant do not ask for um any kind of compensation questions don't ask that um that's between you and your recruiter all right but let them know that but you must come with energy to the to the interview and um just let them know that you'll be really excited to be on their team all right so i'll talk to you guys soon Peace. Oh, by the way, our next class is starting October the 16th. It's free for veterans in the DMV area. If you live in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, our next class starts on the 16th. It's Wednesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 10 p.m. All right, so um, talk to you guys soon. Bye.